going on guys? I have an exciting video. Behind me we have Quinn's 2019 Mustang Formspec 2 and we're gonna be installing a Vortec blower on it. So Quinn is already started. He's pulling the front bumper off. We got everything laid out right there in the boxes. This is gonna be exciting because this is the first S550 Quinn has done with Boost. Usually he does the appearance mods and that's it. But, yeah, yeah, FBO, but, I mean, that's like 2015 status. So, now, now it's getting some boost. So, I'm very excited. Uh, we should be, hopefully, ripping with this pretty soon. Rob at Palm Beach Dino, pants the sticker. It's going to be tuned in this bad boy. And uh, I'm very excited to see how this pulls, you know, especially with the high RPM. It is stock oil pump gears, but... Eh. I I think it's fine. I haven't seen any oil pump gear failures lately. I think Ford has really fixed the oil pump gears, but that may just be my opinion. Guess uh, Quinn will find out. <laughs> hey, I mean it's under warranty, right? According to that box. Boom! Warranty. Don't break your bumper. All right, bumper is off. We're gonna let this cool down because Quinn just drove uh, about two hours to get here. And we're gonna let it cool down. I gotta make a stop. And then we'll come back and start wrenching on it. I'm very excited to see uh, how this works out. All right, so things escalated quickly. Manifold's off. Uh, Quinn's working on the intercooler, getting that mounted up. And uh, he's got the bracket right there. I got the intake manifold off. We're doing an IMRC delete. Basically, you take the factory intake manifold control runner, which is this little flap right here, and we're gonna lock it open with uh, some zip ties. We just go ahead and remove all the IMRC vacuum stuff right there, and uh, we should be good to go. Hello, welcome back. It's not focused. Oh, there you go. So, we got the IMRC deleted and um, now we just put the manifold back on. Now, if Quinn did this originally, we wouldn't even have to do this, but it only takes like 20 minutes to do this. So we've been working on it for a little bit. Gwen has uh, that fancy unit right there. Um, can you, what noises does it make? Can you uh, go ahead and. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you need to put the pulley in before it's you? It's not quite that sound, but. Do you, do you need to put the pulley on before you put it in the car? Most likely. Yeah, I would figure that you most likely do. Yeah. But. I mean, do I need to get my Garrett Turbo over here and we can just kind of place it in? I'm gonna compare. Yeah, we can put my Garrett Turbo in there. Compare sales. What you think? It. Looks good though. I'm excited. So throttle body actually mounts reverse. It also has a spacer plate. Grab a boost reference right off of here. That's gonna go down to the blow off valve. Um, we're getting close. We got the fuel pump booster in the car. About to mount the blower up. Um, this bracket goes here. And it actually uses the stock harmonic balancer. It doesn't have a uh, mounting um, outside ring like a pro charger system does, which is interesting. I don't know if it's good or bad, but it's just the way it is. I'm gonna need to... Now it looks like you're ready, dude. I think you have to move that. Yeah. Dude, sick turbo. When are you gonna put the second one? Alright, Quinn. 
Let's put that on the music right here. There we go. Little uh, skinny boy. There we go. Picture of that. Supercharged and turbo. What do you call that thing? Like the for the title? <laughs> Well, we decided to feed the all the Vortec with the turbo. Oh, Intercooler going in. Maybe. I think we just come back in the morning. But she's she's close. She's a loud girl. Oh yeah. All right, we got El Chapo in. We got Quinn's car in. We will finish this up tomorrow. Lifts are almost up. We had someone uh, spend all day doing the wiring and they did it wrong. So then we tore it all down and then uh, Derek just ran some wire. So lifts are getting close to being done. It'll be nice when they're done. All right, day two. Uh, we got a set of NGK TR7 IX plugs. Uh, this is what we use in a lot of boosted uh, Coyote applications. These are the 6510s. If you guys need a link for these, I have a link in the description. It's what I use on pretty much everything Coyote related. Or Voodoo or Predator. But uh, we're also going to go ahead and get the spark plugs swapped into Quinn's car. We're working on getting the charge pipes bolted up. Uh, interesting, uh, the blow up valve mounts right here. I never knew that with these Vortex setups. But uh, very cool. Like I said earlier, the belt runs right there um, rather than having a bolt on outside hub, uh, which would definitely probably be some less stress on the crank. Hopefully, we'll be started up here soon and make some uh, data logging hits with Palm Beach Dino, Rob Shoemaker. All right, so we got all eight spark plugs done. Uh, we ran into a problem with the blower. It appears that it was clocked wrong um, from what Quinn found and he talked to Vortec. It looks like his blower is clocked for a 15 to 17 car. So the blower is sticking up a little bit too high and wasn't lining up with the charge pipes. At least that's what we hope was the issue. So hopefully- uh, It lines up now, we already test fit it. Yeah, hopefully we should be in business now. So, other than the bumper going on and a few odds and ends, uh, like the intake pieces, we left those off uh, for the second so we can see the injectors, make sure there's no leaks at the O-rings. Uh, I convinced Quinn to go with the turbo guard instead of the intake pipe um, because more boosties. And uh, we got the Rob, the tune maker, shoe maker tune in there, so we're going to go start it. You ready? ready. Alright, let's try it.
what we're doing right now is just recording a quick log, uh, usually with a uh, slow route. just capturing the short-term fuel trends. So we'll send it over to Rob, see if we're good to go full throttle. So we're just gonna go record uh, some data logs. We're just driving it a little bit just to let it learn a little bit and then we're gonna record a quick idle log and rev log and we'll send it over to Rob. Probably give us the go ahead to go watt and then uh, we'll see uh, Quinn below his <laughs> <You were telling. laughs> <laughs> you want to get capped? Uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty pretty good, but yeah. Nine or ten? got one revision loaded into the car we got the bumper on doesn't appear that we have any boost leaks so I think we're gonna go do just a few more data logging hits and I think it's gonna be Quinn's first time driving it well, getting on it getting on it he, he just drove it to the gas station but yeah let's go do uh, some data logging hits you can barely see the intercooler in there it's a little stealthy well yeah, when you turn yeah, it on, it's not. What you think so far? It's rowdy. It's fun. It sounds good. Your exhaust is nice. It's loud, but not too loud. Yeah. I don't know. I still kind of want the course of sport, though. I missed that setup. Someone will trade you. That would be nice. Dude, I think she's a ripper. She's fun. Not bad at all. So, we uh, just recorded some logs, sent it over to Rob, but tune-wise, tune, tune -wise, it looks good. It's still getting a little bit of positive knot. Mr. Quinn put some 93 in it from Sam's. Don't, don't do that, kids. Sam's, 90, Sam's Club 93, which is Walmart, is, uh, it's not good. It's the cheapest 93 you can buy. Not, not necessarily your price, but it's the worst quality 93 you can buy. So when you're boosted like this, quality 93 is important. And then uh, once, once you get that out of there, it should, it should feel quite a bit faster without the, uh, the bit of knock. <laughs> 